Workouts don't have to be dull. Leverage your competitive nature with these three gamified workout apps, today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by GoToMyPC. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile phone app news and reviews. My name is Chris Jennings. And I'm Mauricio Balvanera. Now, Chris, you're pretty sporty. You like to run. Yeah, Quite a bit. I try to stay active, a lot of running, yoga, cycling, I yeah, try yeah. to do it all. I'd like to think that I'm a pretty big weekend warrior too, but I know that we have sort of different approaches to the way we use our willpower, basically. I have a lot of trouble motivating myself to sort of push myself hard on some runs. Do, mm -hmm. you, do you have that issue at all? With me, I just feel like running, and running in particular, yeah. it's just really relaxing. I get into my own zone, I do my own thing, and I really don't need to make it competitive. Right. I mean, I'll, I'll race competitively from time to time, yeah. but that's not the main goal. It's more just relaxation, health, and just getting out there and seeing the sights. That's probably a healthier approach than mine. Maybe. Uh, so what, one of the things that I do constantly is I, I'll join groups or, or do a class because there's always that person next to me that I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this guys, I'm going to do better than yeah. this person. Um, I use pride a lot, I, and, and, and I have trouble really pushing myself unless I, I'm able to leverage that. So I took a look at three apps that kind of um, gamify the workout process. Hmm. Um, and, and basically, you know, the gamification, we've, we've seen gamification of, of content all over the web and across other apps. Um, I want to look at see how that worked in uh, basically mobile applications for okay. workout tracking. Well, maybe some of these apps then can convince me to, to do some of that because I, I have looked at some of these before, yeah. but I just never felt the need to make it a game. I never felt the need to share my scores with friends right. or it's really, it's selfish. It's all about me. I really don't <laughs> need to share with everyone else. Well, that's funny because I feel like I'm being selfish. Well, I think we both are in different <laughs> okay, ways. Good, good. <laughs> all right, well, the first app we're going to talk about is called Fleetly. Fleetly has been around for a little while, but this is actually an app that's done a really good job of, of literally gamifying the process by uh, translating your activity into a point system. Mm -hmm. um, and what's nice about this is that the point system isn't completely arbitrary. It's actually, if you, if you take your score, multiply it by your weight, it ends up being the amount of calories, on average, that you burn a week. Wow. Yeah. How did they figure that out? I don't know. <laughs> They're smart. That's great. Um, they, and they actually do a really, so one of the problems I've found with workout apps is that um, the logging system, how do you log your workouts? If you do many sports, Sometimes those apps aren't very good at giving you the space required to log. Right, they have their cookie cutter templates. Like here are the workouts you do, but what if you do it a little bit differently? Yeah. How do you put that into the app? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, in the past, my, my logbook has basically been a, a blank moleskin. Mm -hmm. uh, that's been the only thing that, that really works for me. But uh, Fleetly has done a really good job of, of creating sort of a template for basically any sport you can think of. Yeah, I played around a little bit on their website. I saw some of their different options, and I was amazed at how specific a lot of these workouts get. Yeah. They have specific by sport, by like the type of um, running workout you want to do. So you have all these specific workouts, and then you can win like specific awards by the yeah. points you get for those. Yeah, yeah, totally. Which is uh, great. Yeah, totally. So um, it's, it actually works out great. It's, it's a literal gamification because you end up with the score, you're competing within your social network to see who's got the better score. This kind of works a little bit like uh, the, the Nike Fuel Band. I don't uh -huh. know a lot of people are using that nowadays. Mm -hmm. Works the same thing. There's this abstract number and you're trying to beat other people to a higher number. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the apps that I've been taking a look at and it's been pretty good. Uh, it's been making me work a little harder. Um, I tried it for a few weeks and it's kicking my ass. <laughs> yeah, and from the looks of it, it looks like it's good for everyone no matter what kind of sport you're doing. Exactly, exactly. Great. Uh, the second app, now this is kind of an older one. We talked about this almost a couple years ago at this yeah. point. Uh, Runkeeper. It is still, hands down, my favorite running application. Okay. Are, are you using anything to log your runs? I've used Runkeeper a little bit, but I guess I'm kind of old-fashioned. Uh, I will still use the Garmin watches, okay. and I'll use Garmin Connect. Right. So that does log everything. You load it up to the Garmin Connect website, but the sharing functionality is not that great. There's mm -hmm. really no fun game aspect, but you can at least keep track of your data. You can see yeah. where you ran on the map. So yeah. it's, it's useful for that. That's good. Now, Runkeeper doesn't exactly have exact game of gamified things. But the way I use it, and the key thing here with these running applications is that it needs to log your, your run, your, your, your distance, your map automatically. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to have to write this stuff down myself. That's, no. that's the whole deal. Runkeeper does that. The way I've gamified it basically is the live map feature. Mm -hmm. um, you have to subscribe to the Elite 
uh, program. But what it does is once you start your run, it'll update a live map so people can check in on your, your pace, where, where you are at that moment. Is wow. that, this was actually fantastic when I ran my, my marathon because uh, my cheerleaders were basically trying to figure out where I was at all times, and they were kind of biking around Long Beach trying to find me. And they actually made a game out of it by having a cocktail every five mi <laughs> between every five miles and then trying to meet me at, at some point. And see, that's useful. I can see that being a good time where you want people to know where you're running. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and the way I basically leveraged it with, with I leveraged my own pride by saying, okay, People are watching me right now. I need to keep my pace up. I, yeah. can't, I can't show them that I've slowed down. And like I said, I, we function a little bit differently. I, I have to use my pride like that sometimes to really get me going. So that's another sort of gamified solution. We've got one more, but first we're gonna thank our sponsor. More and more business people are working remotely from their iPads and iPhones, leaving their laptops behind and trying to work lighter. But the iPad and iPhone can't replace your office computer. That is, unless you have the Go to My PC app. It's the missing link. It turns your iPad and iPhone into your computer. With Go to My PC by Citrix, you can access your entire Mac or PC, work on any program, save, edit, or send any file from anywhere. Go to My PC is convenient, reliable, and easy to use. It sets up in just minutes. While on the go, you can even take care of an urgent request to edit a PowerPoint, update a spreadsheet, print out any document, or work on any files right from your iPhone. It's pretty amazing. I mean, we're always on the go. I'm never in front of my desktop computer at home anymore. I mean, right. even my laptop now is, is too much. Yeah. I have phone, I have tablet, and I'm outdoors. I mean, like we said, we're running, we're out doing things, we're not in front of a, a workstation. Mm -hmm. But with something like Go to My PC, it doesn't matter. Your files are always there, you can always access your computer, mm -hmm. you can get things done when you need to get them done, no matter where you are. Right. I've actually worried less about playing the whole sneaker net game before leaving the office or, <laughs> yeah. or leaving home. Yeah. You can access it at any time. Yeah, who knows where you're working on it, and it doesn't matter. That's the point of a yeah. great app like this. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Try Go to My PC today with a special 30 day free trial just for App Judgment viewers. Visit gotomypc.com and click on the Try It Free button and enter the promo code App Judgment. Then download the free app to your iPad or iPhone. That's gotomypc.com, try it free with the promo code App Judgment. All right, one more application that helps you sort of gamify your workouts. Another app that's been around for a while 100 Push Ups. Now, this app is, um, I think, first of all, a little overpriced. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's very minimal, it only does one thing, but it does that thing pretty well. It's probably the, the best push-up trainer <laughs> I have seen out there. And it's important because push-ups are a good workout. They, they, absolutely. Yeah, they're one of the most fundamental, easiest workout you can do anywhere, but right. it, they're really beneficial. It is kind of like a, a good fitness standard to have. So 100 push-ups basically trains you to do 100 push-ups in a row without stopping. And the way it does this is that it puts you on a training regimen. Uh, you do your initial uh, uh, base test where you, you see how many push-ups you can pump out all at once without stopping and you, you enter that baseline test into the application and then it puts you on a training program either at week one, two, or three. Okay. Um, so anyone can get into it then. There's no, exactly. there's no barrier. And nope. no matter what your fitness level, it'll test you and then adjust the program accordingly. Exactly. Um, after you do that initial test, the next day or the next week, whenever you want to start, um, it's going to put you on this uh, sort of uh, timed regimen where you do, uh, say, 12 push-ups and then you rest for a very specific amount of time. Mm. Basically, it's, it's, um, it's training your endurance as opposed to your strength. I see. So you end up building the ability, you'll, and this happens, after the first couple weeks, your, your baseline, your, your test ends up, if you started at 30, it'll literally, literally double. You may not be able to hit those 100 within a couple of weeks, but you'll, you'll definitely improve drastically. So it's not overwhelming for someone who can only do, say, five push-ups right now. Because right. when you think about, oh my god, how am I going to get to 100? But yeah. they break it off into obtainable chunks, and you right. kind of see progress each yeah, week. exactly. And it literally has a graph that tells you ah. the progress that you've had. So it, it, like I said, it's, it's a very simple application. It does it really well. Um, now, the gamified portion of this is basically, it's really simple, just the share function. When I first started doing this, there was a, a couple other people in the office that were doing it at the same time, and that share button was basically the beat that button. Huh. That's perfect. <laughs> and it's good with something like push-ups, because 
when you're running, it's like, all right, I just ran five miles. All right, yeah. well, how fast? And you right. compare that. But push right. up, a push up is a push up. So exactly. if you can say, I did 100 push ups, there's no dispute about that. No, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely a good, you know, it's the old pissing contest. Yeah. You know, everyone, all guys do the push up contest at some point. Oh, yeah. You probably have a few drinks if, you, <laughs> if yeah. you're doing that. <laughs> but, uh, but it works really, really well. Um, like I said, it's slightly overpriced, but I don't think you're going to find a better app out there at that. Two dollars. Yeah, it's not bad. So, um, and since we don't really know how to count, we're actually got one more application. Uh, zombies run. Mm. This is actually pretty awesome. I think you would enjoy this. Adding a little bit of role playing into yeah. your run. Yeah. This I think out of all the things we looked at, this seemed to be the most creative. Yeah. You know, this is something that looks new and different, and yeah, it makes it. It really makes life a game. Yeah. It makes your workout a literal game. So as you're as you're doing your run, you're getting this constant um, sort of story where you're either avoiding zombies uh, in the city or you're doing pickups to a local hospital. It actually looks at where you are locally and will give you tasks to do based on your location. Huh. It essentially puts you as a character in a zombie movie. Yeah. <laughs> You're just running yeah. around this whole experience. It's, it's, it's kind of like having installation art on your workout. So, I mean, that's, that's a really good example of, I think, the gamification hmm. of applications. All of these are, are, you know, we've got a couple apps that are literal gam gamifications based on point system or a storyline, and just other two that use, like, your sharing functions to sort of, you know, boost your, your pride a little bit. Yeah, anything that's going to motivate you to get out there. I think that's the goal with these. Yeah, that is the huge goal. Yeah. All right, well, let us know what you think. If you have any gamified apps we should take a look at, let us know at appjudgmentreadyvision3.com. Hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. We'll see you next time. See you next time.